Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook and today I'm going to be making a roast dinner um, with a big change I suppose um, because I'm going to be making this uh, for the first time without like potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, even gravy. So first thing I'm going to do is I've, I've got, I'm going to have a ham. Now this is a gammon, uh, so I'm going to um, first of all cut up some onion three carrots and three leeks, because what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is I'm actually going to make lentil soup. So um, for you guys who don't know, recently been diagnosed um, type 2 diabetic, and I've read up that lentils are a great source of protein and they're good for you. So I, for you guys who have been watching my videos for a long time, I love potato and leek soup. Um, and I can't have it anymore because of the potatoes. So complex carbohydrates, because I put loads in. So, going to change it up a little bit. Now, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you are been watching for a while, press the the like button. Um, and watch what uh how the how these videos progress. Now, I am new to this. Um, I've done a little bit of research. Um, if you guys know that the foods I can and can't cook with are do's and don'ts, please share. The more knowledge we can get in the community about this, then it, the better for everybody. So all I'm doing now is I'm just sweating down the leek, the carrot and the onion. So just going to sweat that down until we, um, we get it going there. Now... Into this, it is a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. That just gives the, the flavour profile. So we can see what we can do with this. So just you're just breaking it down. Now, I'm actually going to be making um, not only the ham on this video, but you're going to, I'm going to quickly make lentil soup. Um, so you've got your starter. I'm going to be making the ham, so I'll show you how to do that. Again, very, very simple. And then I'm actually going to have three little side dishes to go along with the, the, the meat. So into, <coughs> into the, uh, the, the sautéed veg, I'm, I'm adding enough water so that the, the ham is covered three quarters. So i have put in some boiling water going to put that in and you can see it, it's only about halfway up so I'm going to just add in some more uh, water to that and then that gets it to there then you put a lid on it have it on a rolling boil and you can forget about it for about an hour and a half and then that's the ham done now done its job I should say in, in the soup pot you, you're then going to remove the ham and we'll do that but put that on forget about it for an hour and a half there you go you can see here hour and a half later ham's been boiled obviously the bigger the ham the longer the cook time now into here so we've got we've got all that beautiful stock you see it's all changed colour it's cooking away beautifully um, we're going to add in some washed, now I'm adding 250 grams of washed red lentils. So you wash them until um, it, it the water runs clear. Give it a stir. Put the lid back on. Leave it for half an hour. And there's your soup. Done. So you're not wasting anything. <coughs> so done that's that all good to go so back over to the ham now at this stage what i would say is remove the string i never removed the string um but you you wanted to you should really remove the string at this part if it's got on it if it's not great now i'm going to make a glaze for this and again i know everybody's going to say oh sugars ah uh. if you want a a nice caramelized glaze you've got to add some kind of to, to 
caramelizing agent. Now, I'm using natural honey. So, I'm going to use two tablespoons of Dijon mustard to one tablespoon of honey. Now, remember, you're going to be coating the whole piece of ham in, in this glaze. You're not going to be eating spoonfuls of it. You'll literally just have, with the slice through it, you'll have a little bit at the top and maybe a little bit at the, the bottom. But, so the it's all about the glaze. Now, when you put this in the oven to roast, two things you can do. You can turn the oven down to like 170, 160, so that you, you get a nice caramelisation of it. Or, if you don't want it to burn straight away, you can add a little bit of water to this mixture as well. Um, and that just stops the honey from burning too fast. Uh, so, you just you just bear that in mind. Give that a mix. And then your glaze is done. Now, I'm going to be making, <coughs> instead of potatoes... I'm going to have parsnips because parsnips can um, be a great substitute for uh, for potatoes. And if it's the roast potato you want, you want that, that sticky, unctuous middle along with a nice sort of outer skin. And all I'm doing here is I'm just chopping up the parsnip into chunks, not pre-boiling it, not doing anything with it, just cutting it up into bits um, because I wanted to try it. I wanted to see, could this become the roast potato substitute? Um, I have it at Christmas covered in, well, I used to have it at Christmas with honey glazed, um, but let's see if we can, we can change that. So, Get your gammon. Now, bear in mind, it's been boiled for an hour and a half, so it's pretty much cooked. Get your in a, an oven tray. That bit was a bit big, so I cut it in half. So you can just make sure that you've got your bits there. Then you're going to just cover it in a little bit of olive oil. Get them in. bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Put that on top, see if it fits. Make sure they all fit in. Rearrange the jigsaw puzzle. Drizzle of oil. That just helps the roasting process. You notice I've not peeled them. We want all that, that beautiful flavour kept in. Then you're just going to use the dressing to smother the, the ham. And like I say, you can add a bit of water to this just to make it so it doesn't actually uh, burn that, that quick. Or just keep an eye on it. And then that's going to go back in for another hour and a half. Or until it, the, the gammon's nice and golden. So, and the, and the parsnips are done. So, soup's made. Gammon and... And the parsnips are done. They're going in the oven. Now to do a couple of extra side dishes. So I've got broccoli, that uh, florets that I've just chopped up into pieces. And I'm chopping up a couple of rashers of bacon. So broccoli in a pan. Add some boiling water. We're going to blanch these first. Help the cooking process. Bacon's in the frying pan. <coughs> Cold to start with so it renders the fat. And then while that's doing that, I'm just going to shred up these Brussels sprouts. So I've just got three there. So they're shredded. Just run the knife through it so you've any bigger bits. I'm not a massive fan of cabbage, so that's why I'm, I'm doing it this way. But again, it's another veg into the, into the dish and into the diet. Those bits were cores. Now, while the bacon in, is still frying away, and the, I'm going to chop up two cloves of garlic. These, this is for the broccoli, and I've got one chili. You 
don't need to add the chilli in. I would recommend you do the garlic though. Um, and then that will just adds another dimension to your dinner. So thinly slice that. And let's have a look at the... So your prep work's done. And we are over to the bacon. So you want to cook the bacon till it's crispy or till you like it. So you can either go two ways. Um, I sort of go just before it turns crispy. But you've got all that flavour in the pan there. So once you've got that, get your get your uh, Brussels sprouts in. And you're just going to saute them off. Now, at this point, if you're... If you're not trying to be healthy, you could add in a, a knob of butter. And that would just, again, enhance the flavour. But I'm not doing that. I'm just going to keep turning on these until... And you'll know when this is ready because the smell comes off it and it is incredible. And while I'm doing that, guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to see how I get on in my journey to try and regress um, the, the the diabetes hit that like button, hit that follow button, that subscribe button and you can follow my journey. Once you've, you're happy with it, your, your Brussels and your, your bacon's done, we're going to add in, now I added just a, a little touch of oil back into the frying pan and we're going to put the garlic in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to let that cook just for a couple of seconds just so, so it doesn't get burnt. Keep it moving. And then you're going to add in the chilli. Be careful at this point because when it's hot oil and um, you add in the chilli and it starts to go, depending on how spicy the chilli is, it, it could act a bit like pepper spray. So just be careful. So you don't want it to burn too much. You've drained your, um, your broccoli. So your broccoli's ready. That's blanched. And we're just going to finish it off in this garlic and, and chilli. So oil uh, dressing that you we've got. So once that's done, you can see the, the garlic's turning there. And this is the bit. When you add in, because if there's any residual water on the the broccoli, it will it will steam up and in the, those vapours, the chilli will get. So just be mindful. Guys, while I'm doing that as well, just wanted to say thank you very much for the... Um, the wonderful comments, really. Um, I did have doubts whether to share or not. Um, and at that point, I wanted to make... I'd, I'd, and I thought I better, just so that you guys know, with any changes in the, the videos, what's to come. So that's it. Broccoli's done. We're just going to just toss it in the chilli and the garlic uh, for a couple of seconds there, just a couple of seconds until that's done and then we're plating up. Guys, I hope you uh, are looking after yourself and each other out there. Until the next time, like single dad signing off from my family to yours guys, as always. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks for watching. Till the next time.